I love and Ryan here playing Farming Simulator 22, and that's right, everyone. We have a GPS in the game here, finally. Didn't take long, was it? About a week here, and we already have a GPS available to us. Now, the GPS we're using, everyone, is not actually the GPS mod, or GS mod from Farming Simulator 19. This is the Vehicle Control Add-on mod from Farming Simulator 19. Now, for those who remember that mod, it did have basically keyboard steer built into it. So we're using uh, essentially the keyboard steer mod or vehicle control add-on mod, which has a GPS feature built into it. So you can see the lines again, it's different than the guidance steering mod here was in 19, but it does provide us the same functionality. If I lower the Colt, and eh, it doesn't really matter. This is just for demonstration purposes here, everyone. But anyway, uh, guidance steering. For those who want to use guidance steering, everyone, get the vehicle control add-on mod. I will put a link down below in the description of this video. And again, that one that is the vehicle control add-on mod. So keep in mind, it's not actually the GPS mod. I mean, this is the vehicle control add-on. Uh, once you have the vehicle control add-on, everyone, all you literally have to do is push Control W. So let me stop the tractor here. Uh, if I turn here, we're unlocked. And I have it so it shows the lines all the time. The normal default state is to should be inactive. So let's see if I can get them to go away here a minute. They should, I think, go away. Maybe not. But anyway, Evan, uh, to use the vehicle control add-on, you want to push control C. This will open up the options for the vehicle control add-on. Keep in mind, this is developer version, so it's not like fully released yet, but it will give you GPS. And then if you uh, scroll down to the track guiding, Evan, this is where you can essentially find the guidance steering GPS options. Uh, so I had it set to always, so it always showed the lines there, just again, so you folks can see it. Uh, you can set your snap angle, so this is the number of degrees that uh, the vehicle control add-on will snap the line to. Uh, you can set it lower or higher if needed. Uh, just set to 22 at the moment. That uh, seems like a good one to me. Uh, working width, you can adjust this as needed. It should, for the most part, automatically get the width. And as long as the mod or the piece of equipment is set up correctly, it should get it correctly. Um, you can also add offsets if needed, like if you're using plows or mower can't necessarily think of all the scenarios you'd want that for, but there's an offset option available if you need to do that. You can also uh, swap the offset and detect the width. Again, I'm on the swap and offset probably mainly going to be used if you're using a plow or something like that, a mold board plow, where the implement is not straight in line behind you, right? So anyway, uh, once you have that, everyone, all you literally need to do is push Control w now, if you, uh, say, want to select a different line, like, okay, this line, I'm on, but I want to be maybe, let's, let's try to go, like, 45 degrees here. I want to actually be this angle. Do Alt-W. This will essentially clear your line and then create a new one. So, Alt-W will clear it, and then Control-W, and now we have a line going this way. I'll say, well, I don't want that. So, again, you can do Alt-W. That'll clear that one. Do Control-W, and now we're back on about where we were before. So, that's literally all the controls, everyone. Pretty much all you need to know for this is, let's see, let's get back to something here. Control W and Alt W. Uh, something we can show you here too. If we go to the control settings, uh, inactive, we want, uh, we'll do always high. That should work. So always high here. That way, everyone, again, if you're uh, doing something like I'm doing here, cultivating your crops under. Who in the world will do that? <laughs> Don't know, but... Uh, if you're trying to cultivate your crops under for some reason, you can actually see the guidance steering line above the crops uh, if you want to do that. So again, you can unlock off it. Control W, lock back on. Control C, uh, default setting again is if inactive, which you probably, yeah, well, I guess you can just barely see the center line there down the row of crop. And of course, when it comes to a fertilizing, this is definitely where it is uh, very useful. Uh, so blue, I guess that's blue, right? That light blue, everyone, is active. Oh, I need to lower it down. Duh. And then red is off. So red is off. Blue is active. Blue means it is actively steering. Of course, I mean, you don't necessarily need to actively steer, too. I mean, if you turn it always on, you could just, you know, follow the lines like you did in the previous GPS as well. That is an option. And there we go. I mean, we are fertilizing... And apparently this one is set when inactive. Yes, yeah, so in if inactive, we can set it to always. Now you can always see the lines. So anyway, open. that is the GPS that is available here currently in Farming Simulator 22. Uh, I would imagine probably at some point we'll see the official GPS as well. But for now, everyone, we have the vehicle control add-on, which adds GPS. And as you folks know, well, I like my GPS mods. So 
we finally have GPS in the game again. Download link is down below. And again, don't forget controls, everyone. Control W and Alt W. That's really all you need to know. Okay, with that, everyone, I think that's everything for this uh, video. If you folks have any comments and or questions on this, be sure to uh, throw them down below. Again, don't forget that download link is in the description of this uh, video here. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that there as well. That is always very much appreciated. And, of course, uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That's always very much appreciated as well. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.